Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna revisit my seafood salad deluxe. Eight years ago, I made a video on how to make this for a crowd. Today, I'm gonna show you a small batch version of my seafood salad deluxe. It's so easy, it's so delicious, and it's perfect to have in your fridge for a light lunch or light summer supper. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. Today we're gonna revisit my seafood salad deluxe. Uh, eight years ago, we put up a video for a seafood salad for a crowd. This is very similar, only this is a small batch seafood salad deluxe because nobody needs um, like six pounds of seafood salad unless you're going to share it at a potluck or something, in which case you can easily double this recipe. I have adjusted this recipe today, so if you are just, you know, one, two, or three people, then this is gonna be perfect for you. This is a great option for a summer dinner, pop this on a croissant, eat it with some crackers, put it in a salad like a, a bed of lettuce, eat it with some greens, it's gonna be delicious. Now I am using imitation crab meat today for the simple reason that it is accessible and affordable and it is delicious. If you prefer to use more expensive, you know, crab meat, then you go right ahead. But I'm telling you, this is um, 24 ounces of imitation crab or surimi that I have flaked. I just used my meat masher and I flaked it until it was the size that I wanted. And um, if you're going to buy a commensurate amount of real crab meat, you're looking at $50 easy. And if you wanna do that for a party or something, I totally understand it would be delicious, but I'm here to tell you this is really, really good. So you have a 24 ounce package of imitation crab meat and I have a, tw uh, this is a 12 ounce bag of extra small shrimp that have been peeled, deveined, and they have no tails. Um, these small ones very seldom have tails. Um, and then we've got all the veggies. So I've got approximately a half a cup of thinly sliced celery, approximately a half a cup of very small diced red bell pepper, approximately a half a cup of green onion, whites and greens, thinly sliced. And this is a 3.5 ounce can of sliced black olives that I have completely drained, which also ends up being about a half a cup. We're gonna mix this all up and we're gonna make a dressing. This dressing consists of a cup of good quality mayonnaise, and then there's a teaspoon or two of hot sauce in there, two tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of horseradish, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and then I have a teaspoon of Old Bay seafood seasoning, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a half a teaspoon of celery seed. You can use celery salt, in which case you can use a teaspoon if that's what you prefer. And also, if you don't like the heat, you can omit both the hot sauce and the horseradish. But if I'm telling you this isn't that spicy anyway, but um, they both add uh, different depth of flavor to the salad. And um, now we're just gonna get ready to mix everything up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get the spoon in here and blend this dressing together thoroughly. That's why I mixed, put it all in a bowl for you so you could see what was in it. And don't worry about writing down the recipe because I will have a printable available for you. It will be available down in the description box or you can look for it in the first pinned comment down in the comment section and it will take you to the printable version. Just get that all mixed up. This is very similar to a remoulade. Um, it's just really uh, sands the uh, relish. And if you wanna put a little sweet relish in here, I'm not gonna complain about that. You can put a tablespoon or two of sweet relish in there or dill relish if that's what you like to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna mix all of this up really well and get all of the shrimp and the crab and the vegetables well incorporated. Great. Yeah, the shrimp is cooked. Those extra small shrimp, I don't think you can get them raw. You might be able to, I might be wrong there, but, but you want the cooked shrimp. All right, now we're gonna add the dressing and then just blend it all together until everything is coated and it comes together in a cohesive situation. If you like a little bit more dressing, then feel free to increase it, but I'm here to tell you after this sits, this really is the perfect amount. You really don't want this swimming because once this sits, it's gonna leach out a little, you're gonna wanna stir it up and everything is gonna be just fine. You just want this to be perfectly coated. You don't want it to be 
overly dressed. And that's it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get a plate and I'm gonna show you what it looks like and Rick is gonna give it a taste. I have to. <laughs> you have to. Well, there you have it. Our seafood salad deluxe pared down as a small batch recipe. This is delicious. It still makes a lot. You can make this in advance as you're meal prepping for the week. You can take this for lunch. You can stuff it into a croissant for a delicious sandwich for a light supper. Or like I said, you can just eat it like I have presented it here on a bed of lettuce. And let me tell you, it's low carb, it's keto friendly, and I think that you're gonna love it. It's wonderful to have in the refrigerator, and you can eat this right away, but I'm telling you, it's way better the next day when all these flavors from the dressing and the seafood have had a chance to meld and mix and meet each other. And trust me when I tell you, it's delicious now, but it's gonna be deliciouser tomorrow, for sure. So, are you ready to try this? Yes, if I have to. You have to, even though he's had this numerous times he is he's willing to take one for the team yeah. here we go babe tastes good as ever oh yeah yeah this is a hit my daughter molly loves this salad and uh i love it it's really a great thing you know like i said just to have in the fridge Put a scoop on a bed of lettuce and you're good to go. It's just that good. So I hope that you give this Seafood Salad Deluxe small batch version a try. Be sure and look for the printable recipe link down below in the comments section and in the description box. I hope you give this a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. So that is how you make a Reuben dog. I hope you give it a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.